Hey YouTube, it's Mike Pan Gangster here, and today I was going to talk a little bit about Diablo 4 and why it's getting a lot of hate. Uh, in the recent uh, days, a lot of people are basically complaining about the game, complaining about um, that the game is actually boring. Is this actually true? Is Diablo 4 actually a boring game? Is Diablo 4 actually a bad game? Um, I won't lie, okay? I feel like just to show you guys that i played the game quite a bit of course i'm not level 100 i'm level 65 but when you look at my um whatever they call it, renown renown uh i've pretty much completed every single one of them except for the last one okay so i i, I pretty much uh explored the whole map i've done a lot of dungeons i've did two of the cupstone dungeons of course because i'm in tier four um I've tried uh, multiple builds on the Barbarian. I seem to go back always to the Bleed one. It's just the ones I... It's just basically the one I, I feel uh, that I have the most fun with. I don't really want to play a build just because it's overpowered. I'd rather play um, something that basically uh, I enjoy more than than the meta, right? Um, so, so that's that, right? Now, um, but do I feel like I'm forcing myself to get to level 100 and the answer is 100 percent yes okay as i'm playing the game i feel like i am forcing myself to get to that that max level okay and at the same time i'm also i feel like i'm kind of like like a little bit bored of the game to believe believe it or not like um it, it's hard for me to say this but i felt like i was having a little bit more fun with Diablo 3, which is really, really weird because a lot of people thought Diablo 3 was a very bad game compared to the, the other Diablos. Uh, and a lot of people, even myself included, felt that Diablo 4 had more um, more to it than Diablo 3. But the more I'm playing Diablo 4, the more I'm actually um, forcing myself to actually play the game, which is kind of weird because... Like, playing an hour, two hours a day is not something that, at least for me as a gamer, is not something that usually I should be forced to do because it's something that should just, become, just come naturally, right? But for some reason, uh, since I've reached, like, um, I'd say, give or take, like, level 60, I, I've been forcing myself to basically uh, play the game. Like, I've done a lot of the dungeons. I'm not exactly sure how many dungeons I did, but I've done, apparently... 66 of them out of 115 so as you can see i'm not just complaining to complain i've done a lot in the game of course i haven't completed everything in the game but i've done a lot right so i'm not just like talking out of my ass saying like um that i'm bored while i even playing the game i played like i i wish I, I could tell like how many hours i played i imagine i played a pretty decent amount probably not 100 hours yet but give or take i wouldn't be surprised if i'm getting pretty close to that number and um to be quite honest um I don't even know if I'm going to get to level 100 with my first character because there's a lot of stuff in this game that's just, it's just not that really that exciting to do at the moment. I'm sure there'll be some excitement once the new season comes out, while well, the first season comes out, because it's going to want to make you want to like basically play. But at the same time, I'm actually a little bit afraid of the new season coming up because I don't know if I want to go through the leveling process once again because when I played Diablo 3, for example... Uh, I had multiple characters uh, already have, are, like the amount of hours I played Diablo 4 and Diablo 3, I already had multiple characters, I already finished the story probably like two, three times. In other words, the playability of Diablo 3 just felt more fun, believe it or not. But then again, there's more things to do on Diablo 4, but it feels more like of a grind and actually a boring grind, if that makes any sense. Um, I've seen people do reviews of like, of, of like items and stats and, 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 and stuff that seems to be like not really interesting a lot when it comes to like uh, when you pick up items. Um, I feel like there's a lot of items that have like, I wouldn't say meaningful stats, but stats that people don't really care too much about. Uh, I, I would say for, for the more casual players, some of these stats, I would say they're pretty much uh, confusing. I know some people are like, oh, oh, is this confusing? It just tells you 14 damage. While you're berserking, that should be simple. But some people just don't get some of these stats, right? I mean, we're not all brain surgeons over here when we're playing this game. Some people just don't basically uh, understand certain builds and they have to always go look it up because they just don't understand what's happening. It's, it's, it's very, very normal for casual players to feel that way, right? 
uh, even I myself that played the game uh, quite a bit, I seem sometimes to be kind of confused also sometimes when I'm looking to actually um, to build and what I'm looking for on items sometimes. Sometimes I'm I'm looking at items, I'm not even sure if what's better than the other because I just don't know sometimes what I'm looking at sometimes. You know, it's just it's just crazy. But I don't want to rant too much. Um, but I kind of do agree that maybe Diablo 4 is at the moment not as good as people wanted it to be. Um, hopefully with the seasons coming out because I am a fan of the series and I do want it to succeed. But realistically, right now, I just don't feel the good. The game is at a good spot, like a good place or whatever you want to say. Um, I feel like there's a lot of work to be done. Uh, hopefully, um, this could only improve with um, with time because I don't think the game could get worse than it is. I think it could just get better, right? With basically depending on what Blizzard decide to do to make the game more entertaining. Um, again, I'm a big believer in like... Um, uh, like changing the experience of like leveling characters because um, I don't know like I know some people like the 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 that that hard grind to get to level 100. I just don't feel like it's healthy uh, for the majority of people because of the fact that you're burning out your um, your population that are playing the game and, and and that's not a good thing because especially that this is a season seasonal game you should not be like basically um, grinding this hard to have one max level character um, based on a game that is based on seasons uh, from my point of view again. So I know people will have uh, different ways of seeing things than I do, right? Hopefully you guys always understand that when someone says their opinion, it doesn't particularly mean that it's always going to be the same as yours. So we kind of have to like respect each other's opinion because there's going to be a lot of different people that are going to have their own uh, way of seeing things, right? So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I didn't want to rant too much about the game. I just wanted to give my personal, I said, like I said, my personal opinion of what I thought about why the reviews are tanking and why people are complaining a lot. I think that a lot of people have a lot of um, a lot of good points of why the game is not where they want it to be. That's 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 the truth. That's the way I see it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully Blizzard uh, creates. Uh, some sort of patch that basically makes the game a little bit more entertaining. Uh, I really believe that we need uh, something to spice this thing up because I really feel like right now the game is kind of stale. So hopefully uh, we get what we deserve, uh, you know, as Diablo fans, a game that is like really fun to play. So we'll see what happens. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.